In our last video, we talked about the Treaty on the Non-Proliferation of Nuclear Weapons. Now, let's move on to another important treaty, the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty, or CTBT. While the CTBT was only formally presented to the world in 1996, it was the culmination of a decades-long process of negotiation and development. The treaty's main goal, as the name implies, was to create a worldwide ban on the testing of nuclear weapons. This would make developing nuclear weapons almost impossible for countries who didn't already possess the technology, and for those who did, the treaty would make it very difficult to develop different nukes. The treaty itself explicitly outlines the ban on testing and sets up the CTBT organization, which is supposed to make sure the treaty is being followed. It also sets up a comprehensive global system to verify that CTBT standards are being met. This system includes a network of monitoring stations across the world, on-site inspections, and a variety of other measures. The monitoring systems are to be scattered all over the globe and use seismic, hydroacoustic, infrasound, and radionuclide technologies to ensure that no nuclear blasts go undetected. The CTBT was widely supported at its inception, but the problem is it hasn't actually entered into force yet. To enter into force, the treaty must be ratified by 44 specific states, known as the Annex II states, which are the countries that were involved in the CTBT negotiations between 1994 and 96 and had nuclear reactors at the time. Unfortunately, 8 of the 44, China, North Korea, Egypt, India, Iran, Israel, Pakistan, and the United States, have yet to ratify, so the treaty's laws are not actually in effect yet. In our next video, we'll be talking about a third, very recent treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons, so be sure to take a look. And if you haven't already, check out our earlier video on the MPT. See you next time.